In this picture, we can see the team is preparing to launch their latest aircraft in our inventory, the Axaxon M14 Viper. Uh, this aircraft configuration has the KSC 360 system on board. Uh, it has five cameras. Each camera has a field of view of approximately 80 degrees. And, and so that allows us to install these cameras with proper overlap of each other and still ensure a full 360 degree field of view around this aircraft. And this is really important to ensure that regardless of the incident angle of the potential encounter of an aircraft, um, it will be seen by our Cassius system. Uh, this aircraft is a wonderful aircraft because it can fly upwards of about 10 hours and uh, is equipped with a gasoline engine. Uh, we're now about to observe one of our pilots, Greg, uh, launch the uh, M14. Uh, he is in communications with a mission commander and the ground control station operator. And upon completion of pre-flight checks, we then uh, accelerate the aircraft. And once we reach a flying speed of approximately 45 miles an hour, the pilot will then rotate and launch the uh, aircraft in, in the same manner as he were a, uh, a, a pilot uh, on board the aircraft. In fact, Greg, there is a um, multi-engine uh, commercially rated pilot. Uh, once the aircraft is safely aloft, we'll put it in autonomous flight mode and we'll fly it to our intended uh, uh, test site. In this case, again, uh, uh, over uh, some uh, in a desert area here in Northern Nevada. In this view, you can see that the ground control station operator has already pre-programmed a flight route that we intend to fly the aircraft and the aircraft is doing that autonomously. All the while, Cassie is independently looking at the horizon 360 degrees with the five cameras and assessing whether or not there are any other aircraft in the area. Um, the dynamic tracker looks at each one of those videos separately to assess if there's a, uh, another aircraft. Uh, we use that mound, the, the dark object you see uh, to the left center of the field of view, as a reference point for our general aviation aircraft. Uh, as when they fly these near intercept geometries. We'll use both vertical and lateral separation to safely ensure the aircraft pass uh, safely with, when proximate to each other, but yet ensure that the Cassius system believes the risk of collision exists to cause a collision avoidance maneuver. In this view, we see an oncoming aircraft uh, from the right in orange. There's the uh, M14 going in the opposite direction toward the oncoming aircraft. and the Cassia system is now assessing. Note that none of these videos, images are being projected to the ground control station operator. All this processing is occurring on board the aircraft. And look, it sees an oncoming aircraft. And when it does that, it causes the onboard autopilot to do an avoidance maneuver, in this case, to uh, make a right hand turn and eventually uh, do a descending spiral. Here's a, uh, view, a live uh, camera we put on just to give you a, a better sense. And you see the oncoming aircraft and the drone doing an avoidance maneuver prior to the closest point of approach to uh, safely allow um, the, uh, uh, the general aviation aircraft to continue on its mission and while the uh, drone and a manner consistent with part 107 uh, yields right away. And in this case, we're doing a right hand descending spiral. And uh, Ryan has flown this uh, x -Cub for a number of months with this, but he is in a variety of aircraft on something that were in excess of 14,000 intercepts against uh, drones equipped with Cassius system. That's what gives us a great uh, amount of confidence of how well our system works. So this morning we just completed a series of intercepts where we uh, fly our general aviation aircraft in a very carefully controlled set of intercept geometries against uh, our drone uh, that is uh, carrying the Cassius detect and avoid technology. Uh, during each of these intercepts, we observe the drone do an, an appropriate evasion maneuver and uh, we then uh, reset the drone to uh, uh, set up to do another run. So this morning we did approximately 50 runs, which is a great day for us uh, and, and is how we've been able to generate over 14,000 intercepts over the last two years.